Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. I've tried to film this video like three times but there's something wrong with my camera. I think I might have got some water damage or something. It keeps turning like on and off and on and off and it's giving me a lot of problems. So I don't know if this video is going to come out. I hope so. <laughs> Let's see if we can get through it. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a really long time. I have cut my hair shorter, made it blonder. I feel like a little bit more of a revived version of myself. It's been the school holidays and so I really didn't get around to doing anything. I was so inconsistent with YouTube. I just spent a lot of time with the kids. As you guys saw in my previous video, my mom was here. She's now gone again. Um, she's actually in Germany. And I uh, wanted to let you guys know we are going to Germany next week. I'm so excited. Hopefully I'm going to do lots of vlogging there because I can't wait to capture just all the beauty of Europe and Germany and take you guys with us and show you guys what it's like there and also capture the memories for myself to look back at one day. Um, but before I do that, I wanted to show you guys um, that we went like to the Kruger National Park again. I wanted to just insert some of those clips because I'm not going to just make a whole vlog about it. I'm just going to show you guys what we did during the holidays. Uh, it was really beautiful and with my mom and um, my mother-in-law and her partner and it was really really nice so I wanted to show that to you guys I'm gonna put it in right now I've been thinking of the times when we'd stay up all night you'd tell me your stories but you'd fall asleep way before me so I'd watch you through my phone and tell you you're the only one that I need it's easier to say when you're sleeping Sometimes I think I still need closure But it's been years since we've been over So I'm letting go this time oh, This looks like I'm a very nice room to stay in this kind of shower behind, But I'm gonna hold Close and tight And I'm gonna love you Till I die In another life It is so hot here We might actually even go for a swim I've made one too many mistakes But I still try to make it better can't chase the weather so I just try to numb the hurting But I made it worse and worse I lied and I tricked you But you left my life, now I miss you I know I shouldn't think about you But deep down it hurts to be with you woken up super early this morning we, were, we all woke up before the sun even came up now it's like 6 30 i think oh, it's seven um so we've been up for a while we didn't sleep very well at all oh my gosh uh just a whole bunch of different things but none of us slept well that's okay because this morning i was like i'm ready to go home i'm so tired and um now i'm feeling a little more, more positive i've had some coffee and um we're about to go on a game drive so i'm going to take you guys along again i think that's going to be the end of this vlog because it's going to be really long so i'm hoping we get to see some different things this morning it'll be cool if we saw a lion however i don't know if that's going to happen but let's stay hopeful let's go <laughs> All the flowers in my garden Never looked as bright as day Like a happy child I watched them grow Out of only seed Butterflies down my stomach When I think of you and me It is funny how Okay, now that you guys have seen that I'm going to just do like a little bit of a life update video Because it's just been so much going on behind the scenes And there's like a lot of big things happening in our lives right now that I can't actually tell you guys about right now but um, us as a family we've just been going through a lot recently um, 
I think it's, it just feels like it's been a really emotional time for me. Um, I just have been questioning everything about my life. Like, what am I doing with my life? What do I want to do with my life? What do I want to do with my career? What am I doing with YouTube? I just feel um, like I'm not very grounded at the moment. Um, and so I've sort of just been working through those things a lot. We've been doing um, a lot of things at the house, which has been great. Um, painting the house and getting some things organized with our house. Um, but now that school's up and running again, oh, I just feel like I just have a minute um, to breathe, even though I love the holidays. The holidays were so awesome. Um, it's probably the, my favorite holidays we've had so far since school kind of started. Um, Dog just jumped up on the couch. Um, another thing that I've kind of done during this holiday season is I applied for my permanent residency in South Africa. If you don't know, and this is the first video of mine you're clicking on, I'm actually an Australian and I have been here for like 10 years. So it's finally time for me to apply for my permanent residency. And my temporary residency, which is a spousal visa, is actually expiring um, in November this year. 2022 and so I was like cool I'll apply for my permanent residency I get there I apply did all the paperwork like so many documents that you need to get police clearances and whatever and then he was like okay I'm gonna submit this for you but it's gonna take like two to three years and I just looked at him and I was like what, what am I supposed to do now and he was like no he told me I have to apply for another temporary residency permit so this has been giving me so much anxiety Literally before I applied for this, um, I literally had, I think, my first panic attack I have ever had. I've never experienced this before. Couldn't breathe, I couldn't talk. I phoned my husband, I was like, I don't know what's happening with me, like I can't breathe. And it was while I was getting all my paper paperwork ready for my visa, and I just freaked out because of what happened last time. If you don't know and you have no history and know what kind of happened with my last visa, check out my old videos. Um, I got banned from the country. I overstayed by accident. It was like this huge thing. And I just have so much anxiety around it. And this morning I, ac I actually just finalized my last paperwork, which was my chest x-ray to make sure I don't have TB. It's all clear. I got my paperwork my radiology form signed by the doctor. So I have all my paperwork ready and I'm actually going in two days. So Thursday to hand in at VFS my paperwork and then hopefully it's finalized and done. I've got everything else sorted, but I just have so much anxiety around it. Oh my gosh, so I'm trying to let that go. It's been like a huge thing. I just feel like it's this, 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 weight, this weight on my shoulders. I can't breathe. I know it's fine, like I'm trying to take it step by step. I just think I have a little bit of, um, I don't want to call it trauma, it might be trauma, just around what happened last time. I'm so scared it's going to happen again, we're going to be kicked out, I'm not going to have everything I need. And now I don't even have six months until my visa now expires, and I, so I don't know if it's going to be done in time. I'm just trusting God that everything's kind of going to fall into place. We just have so many things going on right now, like just... I wish I could tell you, but I can't, but <laughs> it's just, you're going to find out soon, but I'm just stressed. I'm stressed, but it's okay. I'm handing in my stuff tomorrow. So I want to let you guys know the visa stuff. I haven't posted out about visa things in such a long time, but yeah, the biggest thing I guess is that we're going to Europe next week, hopefully if um, Vaughan's visa for the UK comes through. So we're going to the UK first and then we're going to uh, Germany to visit my family there because my mom's side of the family is German so I'm really excited for that but yeah we're having a bit of a problem with the UK visa and it's giving me a lot of anxiety if you guys could send some prayers our way I would like really really appreciate that um, I have a feeling it's going to come through tomorrow I don't know why just like this gut feeling of like it's going to be okay the visa's going to arrive but I've heard of a couple of people who have had to now cancel their trip to the UK because their visas just didn't come through in time so if that happens, we are going to have to cancel our Europe, our UK part of the trip and just go through to Germany, which is fine. But obviously, then we won't be able to see our friends and stay with them. And yeah, I was really looking forward to that. So I'm really, really excited about that. Um, other than that, I really don't have a lot of updates. Actually, I just wanted to come on and say hi. I'm still here. I'm still planning on doing YouTube. I kind of went through this weird phase where I was like, oh, I think I'm going to stop doing YouTube. Um, I just don't see what my value is in it, but I really enjoy it. So I don't, I don't want to stop. I really enjoy doing it. It just takes up a lot of time. So it's quite hard to keep going. But I mean, 
I appreciate all of you guys watching my videos and interacting with me and I just love having even a tiny community. It's just nice. I've gotten so much like nice advice from you guys, especially in the past, like when we had that year in Australia, I dove into posting a lot on YouTube and it was like, it was nice for me. It felt like it gave me something to do and it gave me a comfort as well. So yeah, I'm going to keep going. It might not be as regular or consistent as I probably should be, but that's all I wanted to say. I wanted to come on, say hi, show you our little trip we did to the Kruger Park. Um, hope you guys are all well. Let me know what's going on in your guys' lives. I hope you're all doing well. Um, yeah, and I guess I'll see you guys either in Europe or packing for Europe. I'll try and do another vlog in this next week. Don't know if that'll happen. Maybe a packing kind of video. Let me guys let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see anything specific, like what we put in our hand luggage bags or anything like that. Packing or how we get ready for a trip with kids, uh, going on an international flight, anything like that. Please let me know in the comments. Um, otherwise, maybe we'll just see some vlogs in Europe. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!